Om Shanti, welcome back. We are doing the recording of yesterday that is 9th of October's called Gilpe Singh. And here Supreme Father wants us to merge all the kinds of upheaval which come in our life, whether it's financial, mental, emotional, physical, relationship wise. Because at the end of the day, if we are stable in our mind, we can find solutions faster and find solutions faster and move ahead in life. And it comes with accepting the situations. So let's see what does Supreme Father have to say here. God says, may you merge all types of upheaval by staying aware of being a master almighty authority and become unshakable and immovable. Just as your physical occupation stays emerged in your awareness, whether you're doing a business, whether you're into a job, we know what is the occupation and how we need to go about it. In the same way, let the occupation of your Brahmin life be merged in you. A Brahmin life means somebody who is totally detached from worldly things, worldly expectations, living in the world, doing everything, but still detached. That's the speciality about the spirituality. When you have the intoxication of this in your every action, all types of upheaval will then become merged and you will be constantly unshakable and immovable. So it's a form of detachment from every situation, whether it's financial, mental, emotional relationships or spiritual. We are detached from any kind of situation. When we have least expectations from anything and everything in our life and we know that we are here just for a specific period of time, nothing belongs to us, nothing is us, and we can mold ourselves, change ourselves, we can accommodate ourselves and accept the situation, then we become the true Brahmins. That means somebody who is karma, composed, relaxed in every situation. And if suppose something good is supposed to come out of it, then it can only come out when you are relaxed and you are calm and composed. So this is a practice of spirituality which cannot come in one day, but it has to start with that one day. Then God says, become merged and you will be constantly unshakable and immovable. Let the awareness of being a master almighty authority, master almighty authority means somebody who is in control of their emotions, their thoughts, their words and their actions. Authority be constantly emerged. You and no weakness will then be the cause of any type of upheaval in you. Now weaknesses can be financial weaknesses, mental weaknesses, emotional weaknesses, attachments to things and people. They can create any kind of weaknesses. But being a Brahmin, you are detached from any of these, no expectations from anything. So you are smiling, you are laughing, you are enjoying yourself, you are happy no matter what. God then says, because such a soul is able to use every type of power at all times. So whether you have the power to accept, power to adjust, power to tolerate things, power to face situations, power to discern, power to take judgment, power to take on the next step. Everything depends upon these powers and these powers come with the help of meditation and nothing else. It's just a practice, a practice of an attitude, practice of an emotion, practice of a thought again and again till the time it becomes yours. God then says, power at all times. He has controlling power and this is why both his thoughts and his actions are equal. Now generally people don't have the power to control. They're thinking nice about you right now but something else is going in their mind at the back of their mind. They might be smiling at you right now but at the back of the mind something else is going on. Now that is not controlling power. You're saying something but you're thinking something else and that's what the world has become world has become dual. Now God wants us to become singular. That means what you think, what you say and what you act about should all be the same. How do you do that is what we learn step by step at Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis. You too can learn it and with this Om Shanti.